Hey guys, RC here, doing a little bit of an unboxing video today. I was checking out the uh, my, my current queue for today and uh, came across this game. So I went ahead and bought it. It was $20 uh, in American uh, money, $19.99 uh, US. Uh, if you're curious, uh, I bought it, was not given for free. Uh, so anyway, we're just going to check it out. So if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know I do you know a lot of building type games, uh, RimWorld, uh, Surviving Mars, uh, Banished, uh, and this this the description reminded me of Banished a little bit. Uh, and watching the video, I haven't even opened the game. This is the I just opened the game. This is the first time I've had it open. It is an early access game, so uh, but it had mostly positive reviews. So uh, anyway, you can play multiplayer from what I was looking at, but you can also play it single, which is something that's important to me. I like to play single. Uh, but anyway, I've turned the, audio, the volume way down just so we can talk while this is going on. Uh, all players are still primitive. A large map could become unstable. Uh, early access, you know, you get what you get with that. So buyer beware. Uh, I'm just hoping it turns out to be pretty neat. Let's pull up the uh, my Steam. All right, so here's uh, Kingdoms Reborn in the Steam uh, in the Steam store. Uh, a city builder with simulated citizens set in a procedurally generated world map. Grow your kingdom through the eras from a tiny medieval hamlet into a prosperous global empire. Cooperate or compete in real time with your friends in multiplayer mode. Uh, 2,350 reviews, all very positive. Recent reviews, all very positive. Uh, 89%. I don't think that's a, a bad thing. And it's by Earthshine. Don't know anything about them. Uh, don't know what else they have produced. But you can see it's a city builder, colony sim, base building, medieval. So sounds interesting to me. Let's pop into single player. We're not going to do a walkthrough of the game or a let's play. I just kind of wanted to unbox it with you guys so we could take a look at it, what it looks like. So we'll do a new game. Uh, let's randomize this. I slam elephants. Bean, he loved me. Oh, there we go. Raccoon. I just watched Guardians of the Galaxy again the other day. So raccoon uh, drop Barbie. Uh, we'll go medium, we'll leave all that at default, and three AI players, and generate the world. That was pretty quick, so, you know, probably depends on, the, on your computer. Uh, of course, I've got this on my gaming computer. So the world is ready, start the game, and it'll take a minute to prepare it. And we'll just kind of walk through this so we can look at everything together. All right, the Great Freeze, I guess the Ice Age, has left civilization in ruin. Few are strong enough to withstand the cold and plague that claimed the earth. Decades have passed since the frost took our land, and our courage and hope have returned with the melting of the ice. It falls to us, we surviving few, to rebuild a flourishing civilization. Cheers to the new beginning. All right, so we use uh, standard uh, key movement to move around. Uh, mouse wheel zooms in and out, and Q and E rotates, similar to just about every game. Tutorials can be opened using the top left question mark button. There we go. Let's close this, and let's click on this just for, eh. We don't read directions, do we? All right, so let's just kind of browse around. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mouse way out. So remember, we did a medium world, right? So it looks like if you do a large or a super large, whatever it is, you've got all this other expanse that you can get out to. So we have a little archipelago in here, a little island system. We have a main continent down through here. Looks like it is connected. Yeah, you have a little isthmus right here, a little mountain isthmus to kind of get across there if you wanted to. So I would say this whole middle part is connected. Uh, you do have a little island off here, another larger island with some smaller islands out there, and then two other continents off to the west. 
I am. I don't know what any of these are. Dye farming. Okay. Cocoa farming. Tulip farming. Grapes. Cannabis. All right. So you can grow pot. That's awesome. Coal. Iron. Grapes. That seems like an area we might want to take advantage of. Cotton, coal, iron, or coal. Oh, there's some gold. There's gold in them there hills. So you can kind of see the, the resources that are available. Now, I don't know exactly how that plays out. All right, so let's see. If we, looks like if we mouse over, it kind of shows you where you can grow. Or what, where you can build. So you can see the outline of that area. I was trying to see. Okay, so that gold right there only uncovers this area. I couldn't get to that. You'd have to expand out. So fair enough. What is this? I don't know what that is. Crates. Ooh, valuable resources, eh? All right. But there's no there's no farming in there. Now, that doesn't mean you can't farm, because in the intro video, and again, I have not even opened the game until just now, uh, You were they were planting crops. So, like, I don't see wheat or corn or anything. So, I'm assuming, assuming that you can grow basic crops anywhere. I'm a, and surviving in the ice and snow, probably a little bit harder. What do you got here? Oranges. Okay. Oh, an orange grove. That's actually pretty awesome. And you have water. Tell you what. So, a forest province. Broadleaf forest, moderate temperature, friendly conditions, ideal starting area for new players. 55% fertility. Temperature runs from 14 degrees to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. That's minus 10 to 28 Celsius. Uh, one disease frequency a year. So I'm seeing a lot of similarities to RimWorld in, in the descriptions here. Uh, it has 17,700 stone in the area. Base income is 8.9, no defense bonus, and 2,100 tiles of flat area. And I guess we start with 894 gold. Just out of curiosity, if we go here, unsuitable for farming. Okay. So, yeah, let's, let's go with this one. So, we have oranges. Wood, medicine, steel tools, and stone. And money and storage space. Now, we can increase by... So we have money, right? We have this 2,106 gold. So for five gold, we can increase by 100, right? Yeah? Okay, so shift-click. Uh, let's go ahead and add in some more wood. And what else do I want? We've got 27 tools. How about stone? There we go. We'll confirm that. We've unlocked a bridge. All right, so we want to place the town hall. That's pretty large. How about we come right over? We can't go outside of our starting zone. Okay. So how about we put our town hall right there? All right. And a starting card. Wheat farming, trading post, or investment. Well, I think we probably want wheat, wheat seeds, I am guessing. And how about that? Sure, guide me. All right, prepare food. I'm going to pause it.
prepare food to stay alive. Click the card stack on the bottom right. Move your mouse. Okay. So, how about a mushroom farm? Okay. So, let's put... I don't want to plow over those orange groves, right? I mean, those are kind of important. So where are we going to put these? And it has to be inside our territory. Well, I tell you what. Let's, let's plow under some of the trees. To claim a region, click on any tile. So this is those crates, right? So I want to claim, but we need 498 gold, and I only have 10. All right, so we can't do it right now. Build housing. So let's put you We're going to go ahead and put housing in two just to see what that gets us. All right, so we can kind of zoom in here. We see the guy kind of working and clearing stuff out. I hear some chopping going on. All right, we're chopping down some trees. I don't want to spend the 300 gold just yet. All right, so clearing it. Yeah, this is very, very similar to Banished in the in the uh, in what I'm seeing here. Uh, yeah, I can't claim territory yet. Well, let's see, 178. Then I think that has. Low fertility. What about down here? No. Oh. That's really the only one I could buy right now. Ooh, what is this? Oh, a tribe. Okay. Well, right now, this is the only one I can claim, so let's go ahead and claim it. Awesome. And let's build another house. How about, wish I could angle these, you know? Let's do that, a couple of more houses. Okay, we've got deer out here. And I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Just I want to build. I want to get some of this built. All right, let's pause it. So we've got our town hall. This is our storage, right? So we've got four slots, four slots, four slots. All I did was escape out of that, so that's cool. And then you can see they're bringing in the resources needed to build these things. Okay, so very similar to Banished in that regard. So that's, uh, that's kind of interesting. All right, we see some housing going up there. <clears throat> We've got our mushroom farm going up. All right, unlocked research. So if you increase population, you acquire science points. So let's show the tech tree. How many do I have? I don't have any. So I really can't. Let's do, let's increase immigrants, right? All right. So looks like every 145 seconds, 
you get a new card to buy or you get and you get more money okay so we're getting 33.4 money I don't know if that's per day, per round. All right, so let's see. We've got four occupants in that house or in that one. And look at the difference in the housing. So are those different? So we've got the little arches. No, I guess they're the same. All right, we still have more people that need housing. Is there anything that tells me right here? Six children, 14. Okay, population is 20. All right, so let's build another house. And we will build that. I'm going to build that right out here. All right, he's unhappy. Does it tell us why? Because he doesn't have a house. All right. Housing and luxury are low. Everything else is pretty high for him. All right, well, I think we've taken a look at enough of the game. I just kind of wanted to open it and let's see what it looked like. I'm going to give it a go and play it for a while. But uh, very similar to Banished, I think. Uh, Rimworld a little bit. Uh, but you can see, oh, and I did have this hint up here. So build five houses. So we've got two, we've got four, a fifth one underway. So that's the tutorial. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you think the game looks interesting, I'm, you know, I've already bought it. So I'm out the 20 bucks uh, for better or for worse. Oh, it looks like our mushroom farm's up and running as well. There we go. Job have that takes two workers. Okay, so that's something new. Eight wood turns into 22 mushrooms. Okay, that's pretty interesting. And I guess they can they can harvest the oranges automatically because that looks like. Yeah, so we're bringing in oranges from the orchard here, so that's good. So that looks like that takes place automatically. So I would guess you do have to be very careful not to kill all the trees when you're building because that's some food production. We kind of had to do that here. Maybe what would have been better would have been to start here and then bought that province. Um and then, you know, we could have built housing out here in the open area. But live and learn, you know, that's just how it goes. So, yeah, anyway, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the look of the game. Uh, is it something you might be interested in playing yourself? I uh, would love to hear from you on that. And, uh, hey, we'll uh, see you guys in the next video here on the channel. Hit that like button and subscribe. Take care. Bye.